Serious people who have met or dealt with Hillary Clinton in person prior to the race, what was she like? A long time ago, back in another life, I used to work at an ad agency that did a lot of poll slash advocacy work. Met the Clintons twice at two different fundraising events, a few years removed. Bill was an instantly likable guy, with a special talent for making you feel like the most important person in the room. He didn't remember my name the second time we met, but he did remember our previous meeting, my place of employment and my position. Hillary, on the other hand, was cordial but proper. She wasn't cold or mean, just reserved. To put it another way, shaking hands with Bill felt like meeting an old friend, while shaking hands with Hillary felt like I was about to renew a client contract. That said, I'm willing to bet it seemed like that, because I've only met her in proximity to Bill, who is almost supernaturally personable. Even the most charming Hollywood A-listers would seem like soulless robots next to him. TL. Doctor, met Hillary Clinton twice, seemed nice each time, if a little reserved. I met her, and bit a while back, at the memorial service for Paul Wellston. A family member was on his clean, so I was allowed in what was essentially the VIP area before the memorial. It was a who's who of D. C. Types, most of whom I didn't recognize. I'd love to be able to redo that now. I was young and shy, and asked both of the Clintons for autographs slash pictures, which she seemed unhappy about, but Bill was cool with it. Probably not the time or place, but I was young enough for it to be kinda acceptable. Totally overshadowed by John Glenn giving me a pin, though. Edit my mom was obviously a big fan of Hillary, and was the one that noticed her brusqueness. I say she seemed unhappy with it because, to this day, my mom will say oh maybe it wasn't the time for autographs. Finally, a post I'm qualified to comment on. After writing an email to one of her super PACs about how she inspires young women like myself to pursue a political career, my mother and I were invited to meet her before her rally at Slugger Field in Lowisville last May. We were background checked many times, and were whisked around by the secret service, often surpassing hordes of supporters who had gathered to hear her speak. We were led to a room where her press agents prepped us on how to act in front of cameras. We were told to not bring any personal items such as purses when we met her. We were then led to another room. As we approached the room, I could hear her talking to state politicians and instantly my heart began to flutter with excitement. After waiting in a line behind many important people, I was brought up to meet her. She hugged me. Our conversation went something like this. Me, it is nice to meet you, Secretary Clinton. I'm one Oliver Sello. I've been following your successes since I was very young. As a woman, seeing how you have flourished in politics has inspired me to pursue a similar career. I hope to one day inspire other young women like you have inspired me. She warmly replied with, thank you, milliseconds. One I love a cello. I appreciate that you consider me an inspiration. It is bright young women like yourself who will lead our country to a brighter future. It honestly was a very influential experience in my life that opened many opportunities for me. I'll see if I can find the photo of me and he'll if anyone wants to see it. I actually have a story that goes against the cool collected politician persona a lot of people seem to have run into. During the 08 primary, I saw Hillary give a speech on Veterans Day, might have been Memorial Day. She was talking about veterans, and, more largely, what we are supposed to do when someone has been through something traumatic. She said something along the lines of sometimes, there are no words, you won't always have the right thing to say, but we can still bridge gaps. I think each of us can start to help someone who's going through a tough time, just by giving them a hug. It was such a tender, almost cheesy sentiment, not something I was used to hearing from her. I've thought about it a lot since then, and that advice has come in handy more than once. She shook hands after the speech, and talked to some of the high school students about how important it was for us to get involved in public service. I met her back in 1996, when she was campaigning for Bill, who was running against the doll slash camp ticket. There was a big public rally, and some of the college republicans came out, and chanted doll slash camp through the whole thing, and she was unfazed, and encouraged them to use their voices on election day. Afterwards she shook a lot of hands, including mine, and she was smiling and gracious. I grew up that the Clintons adopted hometown in New York, 
so I had the chance to run into and speak with both Hillary and Bill several times. On each occasion, I got basically the same impression from Hillary. She was always polite or even cordial, but simply seemed like someone under a great deal of pressure. For instance, I asked her for her autograph shortly after she was elected to the Senate, and while she was happy enough to oblige, it was fairly obvious that she had a thousand other things to get through that day, and she didn't particularly want to make any extra effort to talk to a total stranger. She never has had the talent other politicians sometimes have to make every interaction seem important to her. I always felt bad for her in this respect, as she gets such a bad reputation for her interpersonal skills, but I can only image how I'd feel if I got stopped in the street everywhere I went to. I once prayed with Hillary. It was a fluke, and I was too embarrassed to admit I was a raging atheist. She had a fairly serious Bible study circle study going. She is fairly hardcore, Methodist and quite sincere. She has some serious armor though. She was pathologically private, if you were not one of her close acquaintances. She flat out refused to trade on the religion thing for political capital, which I found a bit incredible. I met her twice. Once, I worked for one of the G8 summit meetings. I wrote impact and educational analyzes and ran a student practicum. Nothing that means more than observation and a meet and greet, really. Hillary was very much in her element, and well versed in everything. So goddamned smart, so commanding, but also regrettably aware that every single thing she said or did would be harshly criticized no matter what. At the time too, in some foreign service settings women could be treated quite rudely for wearing pantsuits. I'm not surprised that the pantsuit is now her symbol. Back then it was a bold and defiant statement. From Bill, I got this approach. Clasp right hands for warm handshake, accepting grip that made my right hand feel as though it were being caressed with electric velvet. Left hand on right shoulder, left fingertips squeezing my shoulder ever so gently yet securely, piercing eye contact that knows everything I was thinking. Warm smile, smell of slight cologne, and then it was over. That was the one time I met Bill. You know how you get flashbacks to traumatic events? Well, a two second contact with Bill Clinton sears itself into your soul and other parts. Seriously, the magnetism he had. Holy shit. John Milliner's mom was right. I know a lot of people who know Hillary much better, and I've never heard a bad word about her from any of them. I know others report bad experiences, and sure, I could see that. It's probable that she's just more relaxed around the folks I know. I had a really awesome professor in grad school who went to undergrad and law school at the same time with Hillary. I was in the class early in Obama's first term. She'd talk about Hillary quite often. It was a law and policy class, so it was also relevant. It was all about how freakishly smart and well liked Hillary was in school. That basically from her freshman year she made a name for herself. Said she was always gracious and nice. My professor thought of herself always as dumb. But Hillary would always include her in discussions and listen to her speak. The woman appeared infatuated and upset Hillary didn't beat Obama in the primary. I always liked the Clintons, but those stories made me really like Hillary. I posted in the Trump thread that I worked on a talk show where Trump was a regular guest. We dealt with both Clintons too, before and after Bill became president. Whether or not you agreed with his policies slash actions, Bill was a contact high. He has the most potent personal charisma I've ever encountered. Eye contact is overwhelming. And you can tell he thrives on it. Hillary, not so much. If connecting with strangers is oxygen for Bill, it's ammonia fumes for Hillary. She will shake your hand, smile, and force small talk, but it's like interacting with a synthetic Hillary android. This tangible shield maneuver is so obvious, I think it's helped fuel the gossip that she can be a swearing, lamp throwing monster in private. I have no idea if any of that stuff is true BTW. When she did the show she was reliably professional, but was obviously making herself get out there. Watching her answer questions was like watching an mp3 player launch audio files. You could tell this was work for her, and she was not going to risk authenticity. She obviously is passionate about policy and public service, but cringes from the public she's doing it for. She and Bill are a total spirit mismatch in this regard. Hillary was always at least civil to us, show staff. She was surrounded, however, 
by a coterie of protective, overcompensating loyalists who were some of the worst, most vicious people I've ever met, in politics or out of it. They would stop at nothing to protect Hillary, and neutralize any threat, no matter how minor. I'm pretty sure their energy not only helped define Hillary's negative meter narrative, but helped blow the election. I met her when she was Secretary of State. Back in high school, my parents were working for the government in an embassy abroad, mid-Europe. During the summers I would work part-time doing various jobs at the embassy. On one particular week, the U.S. government partnered with the local government to enact a statue of a previous U.S. president. Hillary Clinton came to give a speech during the ceremony. All of the summer hires, including myself, had to help set up the hotel where Hillary was staying. This was the fanciest hotel in the entire country. Straight downtown, and cost a fortune per room. For security purposes, she and her 50 plus staff rented the entire three top floors. Talk about spending efficiency. We carried her luggage to her room, made sure everything was in order. Saw some interesting security measures. The whole shebang. We caught a glimpse of her entering the hotel, and she didn't acknowledge us at first. However, the next morning, she invited us, 15 helpers, into a room to meet her. It was bizarre. She stooped up at a podium, read a quick speech obviously written for her, she visually disagreed with some of the statements, and then thanked us each individually with a cordial handshake and the same monotone thank you for your service. Truly a sculpted politician in my personal encounter. Having said that, she was most likely exhausted from the trip. I voted for her. Edit. TLDR. Carried her luggage. Met her. Thought I met a robot. She's cool though. I've met her twice, while she was campaigning in the 2008 primaries. The second time I brought a picture of the two of us. That was taken the first time we met. I was in the crowd at a rally as she was signing stuff. People just sort of line up along the banister and hold out campaign signs and stuff for her to sign, so it's kind of hectic. I was holding out the picture for her to sign, and when she saw it, she looked up and reached out her hand to grab mine. She was smiling said thank you. It felt very genuine. My parents also have a family friend who is a TV producer who worked closely with the Clintons producing some ads in the past. He knew them fairly well, had lunch privately with them, went to the after party in their hotel suite after an event, etc. And he said she was always extremely down to earth, fun to be around, and easy to talk to. He said Bill likes to lecture you. I was a marine security guard for a few years for the state department. We guard our embassies and diplomatic facilities abroad. Naturally a lot of VIPs come through those places. For some odd reason the VIPs always want to meet the marines. Maybe some meet the troops thing. I don't know. One time it was hilarious sextant. First odd thing is that you had to be wearing a black or very dark blue suit so that you don't stand out when pictures are taken. Then we were told by her handlers where to stand and that she would be coming by soon. 30 minutes later she walked by, quickly shook each one of our hands, and paused just long enough to be still for the photo. Lasted less than a minute for the five of us. Hi. 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 Snap's pick walks off definitely felt like going through the motions and that, if she could get away with not doing it, she would. I worked at a massive bookstore in downtown La when her book Hard Choices came out. I remember there being a lot more security for her than for Jimmy Carter a month or so earlier. I only got to interact with her for a moment while she signed my book. I think I told her some bullshit about it being nice to meet her. She smiled and thanked me robotically and moved on to the next person. A lot of people could excuse that as she was meeting thousands of people that day, but I had met hundreds of celebrities through that job in exactly the same way. Some of them have charisma and make everyone in line feel special. Neil Patrick Harris took the time to sing a song from Drive. Horribles with my Walker who had his guitar. Miss Hackollins hugged me for a picture to make my best friend jealous. Some people feel like they are there to get paid and are doing their best. Matthew Winman and Jason Segel were totally forgettable because of that nice and polite but no spark. Some people seem tired but they are trying anyway Colonel. Hadfield and I talked about his singing but he seemed mentally distracted. Hillary felt as fake as Sharon Osbourne but not as evil as Gene Simmons or Mike Tyson. Greeting her felt like an impersonal business transaction. 
where my vote for her was the thing she was trying to sell.